Hey guys, it's Millennial and it's Mentor back with another video. And today's video is going to be the importance of documentation and charting as a nurse, more specifically as an ER nurse. ER nurses tend to think charting and documentation is not important. Everything's all about stabilization, doing patient care, which that is the bulk of ER nursing you have to be able to do but you also need to be able to chart and document everything that you do. This guess sounds really cliche, but the notion of if you didn't chart it, it didn't happen. If you didn't chart it, you didn't do it. That is 100% correct, because at the end of the day, if something comes back a year down the road where the patient you took care of you won't be able to recall what happened except for what you charted. And charting in the emergency department, you have three main assessment. You have your triage assessment, your primary nurse assessment, and the provider assessment. The triage and the primary nurse assessment may not be the done by the same person, but you, those are the three key assessments you have to do as an ER nurse and make sure you're charting, you chart every interaction you have for the patient, every intervention you do for that patient, every person who interacts with that patient, every vital sign that's reasonable, every medication you give, every line you start, every hole you plug in, everything you inject into that patient, every person you talk to in terms of that patient. You want to paint a little story in your documentation. And that goes into even more with your triage note and triage assessment. You want to paint a little bitty detailed story with your triage note. You don't want to say, patient here for nausea. Yes. We focus assessments in the ER, we treat problems, but you want to know more to that. Are they having diarrhea with it? Are they having a fever? How long have they been throwing up? Or are they just nausea and they haven't been throwing up? Are they having pain anywhere with that nausea? Do they have any medical issues? Do they just have surgery? All of that goes into what could be going wrong with them. And, and presented them to the ER. So you want to make a little detailed story for your triage note. Same thing with your primary nurse assessment. It's a focus assessment. So if they're here for nausea vomiting, you're going to do a focused GI assessment. If they're here for shortness of breath chest pain, you're going to do a focused lung and heart assessment. In the ER, you do focus assessments. And then the provider assessment, the provider does their full head to toe assessment and their focus assessment and then they base everything off of what is emerging. And hopefully this helps with documentation as an ER nurse. Just remember, document, document, document. Charting is important. I know people will tell you it's not. It is important. And if you talk to any legal nurse expert, they will tell you documentation is very, very important. So keep charting, keep documenting, keep doing your thing. And with that being said, this is Millennial Nurse Mentor signing off, and I will talk to y'all in another video. Y'all have a good one.